Hi! I hope the lighting on this looks okay. I haven't recorded a video in a long time. <laughs> Let's see, it is Sunday, July 10th, 2016. And I haven't recorded a video in a long time because I've been feeling so crappy <laughs> about my overeating and putting on weight. Um, yeah, you know, it feels like crap. Um, so, but so I've been working really hard on trying to get back on track mentally. And um, so finally, last week, I finally um, got back on track with my eating. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, I was watching a video, um, is it Obese to Beast? A uh, young guy who um, lost lots and lots of weight and um, posts videos on YouTube. And he said in one of his new videos um, that he lost weight not because he hated himself, but because he loved himself. So that's a really powerful statement because uh, I always hate myself when I put on weight. So I'm working on self-acceptance and loving myself and accepting where I'm at in my process and my fitness journey that apparently does this. <laughs> up and down, wait, up and down. So um, I finally stopped eating almond nut butter, raisins, and dried fruit, um, especially overeating them after dinner, and also making my little um, protein cacao powder um, kind of sludges that are <laughs> so delicious after dinner. Um, yeah, calories in, calories out. Too many calories in. So... I finally um, stopped buying those, ate the last of it, washed out the almond nut butter container, and put it away. <laughs> so, you know, it takes a while, too, to stop withdrawals and cravings from that stuff for me. So what I did was, <coughs> sorry, I have a cold. I'm getting over a cold. What I did was I started buying fruit. And since there's so much delicious fruit right now in the summer here in the United States, um, and started eating fruit instead for a sweet um, treat. So that's what I've been doing. When I want something sweet, I eat some fruit. And I try not to overeat. So my first week has gone well, and um, I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about getting back on track. So uh, it's been really hard to do cardio um, as my weight's gone up. So um, I've been doing less cardio, especially with uh, a cold this week. But my plan is that I just do what um, do what feels right, and then as my weight goes down, it'll get easier and easier, and I'll do more and more, and that'll be fine because um, I hope. To compete next year 2017 so um, the closer you get to a competition the more you up your cardio anyway so we'll see we'll see how this plan works I'm still vegan and I'm still enjoying that and I'm trying to figure <coughs> figure that one out uh, I figured out I had been eating too many carbs like too many too many like beans and rice combination or lentils and rice on my last food food week prep that I did. I realized it after I did my whole prep for the week and it was kind of too late so I just ate it. <laughs> so, but it was way too many carbs so I'm cutting down the carbs in terms of um, I have oatmeal in the morning and I'm going to work on you know just having like a rice and beans or you know rice and protein mixture for my dinner um, and not throughout the day so I think that helps and I'm excited and this stupid movie program just does not work right anymore and I'm really sorry about that I need a new one this is the Windows movie player 
It used to work fine, but it just hasn't worked well in a long, long time. So, I've been still um, using my new Garmin Vivo Active HR and um, uh, enjoying that. Still a little glitchy in terms of getting the correct heart rate um, based on what my wrist action is doing. So I hate that, but it's better than the strap, although I can still use a strap if I want to. Um, and I'm working on getting my 10,000 steps in a day, and that's actually going really well. I cut down my running a lot because I got plantar fasciitis in both my feet and then I had a hamstring strain and um, so now I'm just doing some slower longer it's really short but for me it's longer running on Saturday morning still which is really really fun and I just uh, put got myself off the hook on trying to get fast and trying to go long and trying to do races so I'm not doing races right now, although I did sign up for one in August to run with my doggy um, for raising money for the uh, animal services, so that that's always fun. Um, but I'm just not pushing it because I'm um, just trying to heal up my feet and my body and trying to get back in shape in running, but I'm actually just allowing myself to really enjoy what feels good instead of push, 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 push. So I'm still lifting weights in the gym. I'm still doing really well with that. I've gotten PRs lately. Let's see. Uh, my PR was, I think I told you, a 95-pound power clean in CrossFit a couple weeks ago and a 95-pound decline bench press for the chest in the gym a couple weeks ago the same week. Um, just Friday at CrossFit, I did one... 35 pound squats with good form three times which I'm really happy about because I used to do really 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 heavy squats like hundreds and hundreds of pounds but I had shitty form I didn't I didn't go down all the way at all I went like halfway to where you're supposed to go so I had to relearn how to do squats with proper form and that has taken a long long time and I'm still working on that so I'm really happy about that so I, I'm still I've still been getting stronger and stronger at the gym my body's gotten used to the vegan protein I think um, it's still really a different diet in terms of figuring it out for me but um, I'm still going with tofu and beans and lentils and soy yogurt. Same thing I started with, just trying to get a lot of protein in like I did before and substitute the meat with the vegan protein. Um, I'm just really excited about getting back on track. So hopefully we'll have lots of updates. And um, let's see, next March starts... Um, the season again for next year so hopefully I'll be competing next spring and um, I have some goals for that so I'm hopeful I went from my low from competing um, a size 8 I was going down to a size 6 and now I'm up to a size 14 so that's been really depressing. I gave away all my big clothes, and so I had to rebuy big clothes, which is really depressing. <laughs> but now it's like, okay, let me just buy some clothes so I fit into it because it's so uncomfortable to wear clothes that are too small. And to try to work out in clothes that don't fit does not work at all. So I'm really motivated myself to go buy workout clothes that actually fit. Um, and I just bought some shorts again and some sports bras it's really hard to find sports bras that I like but um, I had to dig down in the wallet and get some more <laughs> clothes that fit in big sizes and I guess I guess I won't give them away this time <laughs> I'm just not gonna buy a whole wardrobe I'm just gonna buy pieces that I need and I uh, hope that uh, I won't need them for long but you can't work out in clothes that don't fit. It's just not comfortable. And you got to be comfortable to work out and feel good. And 
during the day. I am working more still to, to fill up the bank pocketbook a little bit more. Um, so that's cut back on my training too in the afternoons. But it's just, I guess that's the way it is right now. And um, I guess as competition season starts more next year as I prepare closer, I'll cut back again. But for now, it's good. I, I found a good balance, I think. So... For once, I'm feeling really hopeful for a long time. It's been a long time. So I thought I'd share that, and I look forward to um, keeping up the journey and letting you know and hearing what's going on with all of you. Okay, bye.